Good morning. I'm just showing you guys. I put a sensor light right here. I have a light, but there's no switch at the bottom. So I wanted a light. So when I come in, it'll just light up because like I said, I don't always want, like if I turn this light on, I can't turn it off from down here. So this is my DIY unfinished basement. How to do your basement on a budget without when it is unfinished. So this is how it looks when you come down the stairs. I have this leopard print. However, I don't know if I'm going to remove it or if I'm just going to add it. I have two more curtains like this, which are the Flux Silk Sheer Curtains, which I love. I was thinking of putting another rod here and pulling the two back so this will be what you see and then you'll have that cascade of the drapery look if you understand what i'm saying you may not so let's start over here in my woman cave so if you guys watch my videos of the new home tour you'll know that this furniture is on the other side of the basement which i'm going to show you in a second so this is how it looks right now and i had a vision to put this to redo this basement like this and I'm glad I did because it worked out. It's so much more spacious, but yet cozy. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, I added those little drop lights right there. They're battery operated. All three of them work. However, I only lit up one just for the purposes of the video. Um... And I added an area rug right here, which I got from Ross, you guys. If you know that when the stores opened up, they had great sales. This area rug was only $14.99, you guys. I couldn't pass it by. I thought, perfect piece. And the thing about this area rug is you feel this. I mean, you, you can't feel it, but you hear that? You can wipe that. And I needed something like that because I sometimes get water when we get a lot of rain. So I went with that. Um, that's why I went with that. It was perfect to me. Um, so over here, I have my speaker. And then I just have my table here because I thought it was cute. I just got a thought the other day. I seen a mirror and I was keen in on this mirror i didn't know why at the time now i know i'm gonna put that mirror across that wall on that table and i think it's just gonna make it light up even better and then i just have my president obama picture along with a collage of my family friends well just basically really family so and then i have my grandmother right there that's my storage area you guys i'm gonna get to that at some point in life um, this is my lamp and I love it. You guys, that lamp, fun fact, was from Aldi's. It looks like an Ikea lamp. I've actually seen this in Ikea. I think I paid like $39.99. I've had that. That was in my old house as well. So, this is what it looks like. That picture, you guys, is about 100 years old. That was my grandmother's picture. And I'm going to have to have it fixed because it has a cord. The cord is broke, so I have to get that fixed. But all the windows you see in that picture, they actually light up. That's a beautiful picture. I remember as a kid, I used to go up to my grandmother's apartment and just turn that light on and just look at it. I love it so much. It's really beautiful. Get a close up so you can see it's like a city and the people are out and about walking. When it lit, it's pretty just like that, but when you light it up, it is amazing. I'm gonna flip the camera so you can get a really good look at it, which I know it's probably gonna mess up, but that's what it looks like. I love it, always have, always will. I'm never getting rid of it. So, and here. Just ideas you could do for your light fixtures that look like this in your basement. So, I added a globe. This is from Menards, and this was like $11.99 for that globe. 
I hope you guys are paying attention to the price points because I know some people are wondering about certain things. This here is absolutely a beautiful piece that my niece did at a sip and paint party. And it's been in my suitcase since November. I asked her for it. She was like, no. And I was like, no, that will be perfect in my woman gets. She's like, no. And then she's like, you want it? Okay, you can have it. Thank you, Nisi Poo. As you can see, she autographed it. Shay, I love it. That's the perfect place. I was waiting to redo my basement to find the perfect place for it. And I think it goes absolutely amazing. And these are, again, the Flux Silk Curtains. And I used them as my walls because I was, this is on a budget. Those curtains are from Dee Dee's and it came, it was a 12 piece set. And here I did add the rods. I ran out of rods and now I'm just too, I'm just so tired. I didn't feel like putting more rods up. So I bought more rods, but now I don't feel like putting them up. And then I dropped just white shears, you know, just to give it a little mm, light to it. And coming down the stairs, I added the gray to block off the staircase, to block it off, section it off. And here I added, I put a light over here where, turn it on so you can see. And that light is also from Menards. The light fixture itself is $26.99. The bulb was $7.99. And the globe for it was $19.99. And as you can see, this is a lived-in home. There's a red cup my son had because he was down here enjoying. And I'm glad. it. This look has been great. It is just what I wanted. So I added the mirror, which is also an antique. This was my grandmother's mirror as well. It was a, it actually went on her bedroom set. It was her dresser mirror and the sticks to it broke. So I incorporated it. I love it. And that was also in my old home because when you sit at a bar, there's always a mirror. And this picture is, I think I bought this when I first, that picture when I was first moved in here, I don't remember the price and the store I bought it from is no longer in business. So, um, and this is what the bottom of the mirror looks like. I mean, the mirror, the bar looks like it is fully stocked. Well, not fully stocked, but it's stocked. So if you want to have a cocktail, come on through. I got some for you. All my glasses were from the Dollar Tree and I think they look amazing. And my ice dish, which I have my peanuts, you know, because some people like to drink and eat peanuts, coat that stomach if you know what you're doing. I have some puree water, have regular water, ruby red, grapefruit juice, and cranberry juice. And I have my douce and more water, vodka. Um, what else do I have? Jack Daniels, Remy Martin, some lemon juice, and a lemonade. And then I have my tiles for the wipe up which is gray and this bar was 220 and it was comes from a store it's called shoppers world and i absolutely love that store it has everything it's like a burlington tj max ross type of story but cheaper well maybe not and this um this little area rug <laughs> was like 50 bucks. You can wipe it as well. This was 50 bucks, and this was comes from a store called Arts, Arts World, which is, again, like um, a Burlington, a Ross, TJ Maxx, Dee Dee's, something like that. However, they have patio furniture as well. They have everything in this store, everything. So I love that store as well. It can be a little pricey for some things, but you get nice quality stuff. Okay. So, again, this is my woman cave area, which I think turned out amazing. So, again, feel full view of it. All right. Now, 
let's go over to the other side. So, here we go. This is like my spare bedroom or really my, I'm drunk. I can't make it up the stairs bedroom. Now, nah, just, nah, for real. That's really what it's going to serve a purpose for. So, this is a day bed, which I got from Bob's, which was $3.99. I believe it was $3.99, $4.99, somewhere in there. And the mattresses were like, uh, $99.99. And the pillows, the black gray pillows was from Shopper World. They were $9.99 a piece. So there's four of them. Then the two king size pillows were from Family Dollar. They were like $7 a piece. The pillowcases on there are from Amazon. And for the two, I think it was like $8 a piece or something like that. I think. I can't remember. Um, this rug is actually my living room rug and I was just trying it out because I originally bought a gray piece of carpet from Home Depot. It was a very nice piece of carpet. However, when I was l putting it down, I did not like the gray. So I'll be shipping that back and then the size wasn't right. It wasn't working out. So I have to send that back. Now, the plan is I seen this in my living room and I was like, hmm, I think that's the color I want to go with. And I'm going to go out and try to find me one with these colors in it. However, I'm going to make it a little bigger so it'll stretch all the way to that fireplace, which I think that'll be like an 8 by 10 or something like that. This is my fireplace, which was in my home, last home. Um, that insert down there is actually a heater. So it heats up. It will heat this whole basement up. And I love it. And that picture is also my niece's from her last apartment in Burlington, Iowa, you guys. So, this picture is about 20 years old. This was from Ikea. This was a home warming gift from my best friend when I first bought my home, the first home I was in. So, no, it's per. I said 19 years, and that's more about 20, 21 years old. Yes, that old. Really, I need to get up there and clean it off, but I have not done that yet. I have a picture coming from Amazon that's going to go on this wall, and it's like um, the sea, a sunset over the river, and my lighting is tripping right now. So, yeah. Okay, there it is. Focus in, focus in. So, the detailing on the bed. This is the detailing on the bed. I love it. Um, I love this piece because it looks like it's gray. And then, but it has gold hues. So it looks puster. It's more puster if you ask me. If you're familiar with that color. So, that's why I went with the golds in here. However, I think I'm going to try to find me some different pillowcases. Just a little darker. And I'll use these pillowcases but i'll get extra pillows and those will be just the pillows that you'll sleep on because those are silk pillowcases which is good for the skin and your hair it keeps your hair from breaking and it keeps you from getting wrinkles in your face so i'm going to use those pillowcases and those will be what you sleep on you use to sleep on and i'll just get more pillowcase more pillows to sit like that because that's the look i want now the amazing thing about this bed is that let me show you guys. Uh, let me get. Let me sit this here for now, so I can show you the amazing part of this bed. Voila! It is a truffle bed. Ha! Oh my God! I didn't realize that. So it detaches all the way. And comes out. Like so. So. Yes. So when my family comes to town. They have somewhere to sleep. And they're comfortable. And that's. This picture you guys. Is. Um, actually from my ex. 
he's a hoarder, you guys. So he has like everything. And he has this trailer where he has just like anything you might think you need in your house or outside your house or for your car. He has it. Trust me, he's a hoarder. So I seen that picture. Originally, it was supposed to go in my granddaughter's room, but she never came and got it or took it with her. So, yeah. And I just think it's a beautiful piece of work. I just love it. And then over here, I just have, I decorate my little windows, just little stuff that I have from my home. And this also was from my last home. So this probably is like 20 years old as well. Um, that's my mom. <laughs> Then this is my family and me and my boys, my oldest two boys, my grandmother again. And then I have my dad and mom mugs. And you guys, you can't see it, but I have the last cigarette that my dad smoked. And my dad passed away in 2003 of August. So you guys do the math on how old that cigarette has been there. And then I just was making, just again, I used draperies. Just to block off the, the storage area. And this is a, this actually goes to my bedroom set, but it was just, I, it wasn't going to work in my bedroom. So this is how I incorporated it. And then I just have a, that's actually a chair from my kitchen. I'm only using three chairs. So I just incorporated it down here. This nice little chair was given to me, brand new, from my granddaughter's, my oldest granddaughter's mother. And it just works right here. And thank you for it. Um, Yeah, this is my receipt from Bob's. And this is just a big family picture. One of the last times we had a family reunion. And yeah, and that's not even the whole family, you guys. So yeah, but I think it's a beautiful picture. That's my my mom and my my other daddy. That's my sisters and brothers' dad. And there's me right there in the pink. Oh, happy birthday, my niece. All of us. We're just all there. Yeah. That's not everybody though. And this is what the it looks like. This is what I did with the entryway or the exit way. I used gold and white curtains to brighten it up. And those curtains are from Family Dollar, you guys. And I think they were like $14.99. Works for me, I thought. And I did use a curtain rod. The curtain rods were from Family Dollar. That one rod is a very long rod. And it was $9.99 from Family Dollar. So this is what it looks like, you guys. I think it turned out really good. Really good. And I, oh, here's a globe as well from Menards. I just added a globe. I think that globe was $5.99 from Menards. So let's go over to the storage, no, the laundry area. So when you come over here, this is my laundry area. And I made a skirt to go around the sink. Let's see, do I need to turn on the light? Oh, I have to turn the light on from upstairs. I forgot. So, yeah. This is just a, um, that is two curtains. Actually, um, it's two curtains because the outer curtain is gray. And it would have been too sheer so you could still see up under the sink. And I didn't want that. So, I put a backdrop behind it. And I think it blended really pretty. And the backdrop that I'm using is this curtain pattern right here that I used. Because that's also more storage and this is a laundry area. So, and this is a lived in home. So, yes, we have laundry hanging. Well, that's basically me. And this is what my wall looks like over here. And actually, you guys, that was supposed to be a folding table. However, you see it's become a storage table. Um, I do my arts and crafts over here when it. I just turn it off, but. You guys see I have extra puree and I use that little spray right there to just freshen up and then the air diffusers and all of that. And just keep little saying missing items like a sock or whatever, missing socks. And I just spruced it up a little bit. And then the divider. I'm you okay, come on. I really don't like these hooks, but because that's why I don't like the hooks, but okay. 
This is a shower curtain also from Family Dollar. And I think it was like $7.99. I don't remember. It was a whole set. The towels that I showed you that's under the bar came with that. So, oh, and this cup right here, this little hand soap dish came with it. So that's how I'm using it. And this is my unfinished basement on a budget ideas. I have not put a globe up here because I just didn't think I needed a globe for over here. However, I do have this light that I don't ever remember to get bub for, which will give you more light down here if you need it. But so do it yourself basement on a budget. So and so I don't I like this light when I come down, but it's not doing what I needed to do. It don't detect far enough for me. So I'm going to have to go in and get another one and put down up in here somewhere or find a better one that'll light up as soon as it sees me hit the stairs so that it lights up. See, this is what I mean when I say, see, it should have lit up. You know what I'm saying? I have more in the house that light up as soon as they detect, but this one, no, it doesn't do it. See, I'm almost at the second landing. Now it's just now popping on. That's why I'm going to get another one. But I love the idea of the motion lights. So let's go back downstairs and let me give you price points. The bed total came to, let's tell you what the bed total was from Bob's. Um, it was total with the bed uh, delivery setup. Everything was $1,028. I was pretty pleased with that price. So yeah, the four pillows total were 40, 43-ish dollars. Um, and then the bar was 220, like I said, and then the curtains, 12 pieces from Diddy's, $24.99. Um, the light fixture, what was that? $11.99. The other one light fixture over there was $5.99, I believe, $6.99, $5.99, somewhere, maybe $7.99 or something like that. Um, this globe is $19.99. The light is $7.99. And then the fixture is $24.99. And it comes with a very long cord. So you got, can't see it. I think I did a good job placing all of this stuff. So it's just neat. So you just use the things that you have. Like, so I have those beams. So I have it running across there, up there. Use that. So it's tucked away, you guys. So it's running. And then, because I have the curtain border, it goes back here, back here, and it runs. That cord is this long, you guys, so it's very great. And then, it has the switch right there. Okay, so, this is the other side of the basement, which is, huh, don't judge me. But, I still have some stuff I need to go through and rearrange and get all together i got it as neat as i can have it for right now those are just laundry clothes that i need to fold like i hate to fold i don't mind washing i hate to fold though but anyway so this is my storage area which is going to become very little storage because like i said i'm going to get all of this unpacked and rearranged and most of this stuff is going to be gone and i have my little deep freezer my treadmill my treadmill is going to wind up being on that side of the the basement and here within the next year i plan on adding a pool table in here and two card tables because i have dominoes and just games like that so you just have a really good time and you'll have a good time when you come and you just enjoy it and kick back and relax and you're comfortable in your own space and then i added a light over here so i just thought i'd show you guys how you can give you some ideas so this and I was blocking off the room. So that's the room over there. So I just thought I'd show you guys a DIY on a budget with an unfinished basement. Because especially in these times right now, I get it that it's pretty. Money is tight. And you may have a basement and you don't have the funds to build the walls and do all the reconstruction and all of that things. So these are just ideas that you can do on a budget and i don't know why my hand is shaking so bad right now i really don't but yeah so um yeah diy basement on a budget 
just simple little ideas that you could do with your basement on a budget and enjoy your living space. So that was my DIY on a budget unfinished basement, you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Thumbs it up. Share it. Comment. Questions. I'll answer them as soon as I see them. And I'm what I'm thinking I'm going to do with my floor because this towel is so hard. We can't get this towel up. It's really hard. Um, I'm going to keep trying to get the towel up. But again, within six months to a year, I'm going to my goal is to paint the floor. I'm going to paint the floor. And I think I'm going to do like a marble flooring. I can't think a epo epoxy floor. That's what I believe I'm going to do with the floor. But until then, I'm cool with it. Like it works for me. Okay, you guys, that was it. I just thought I'd come and show you because I told you guys I was going to bring this video to you this weekend. And I want to keep my word. So, thanks for watching the video again. Drop me a comment. Remember to keep good energy. Block all the negative energy. Block, block. Negative energy. And on that note, I am 